Greetings everyone, how are you doing today? Thank you for clicking on this video. I am grateful. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. My name is Manly and today I've got something new for you. But before that, I just want to let you know this. Are you choosing to live out an attitude of gratitude today? It's an important conscious choice and best believe it's not always easy at times but what you have to do intentionally is to choose to live out an attitude of gratitude and it has to be on purpose it has to be on purpose because at times you're going to go through challenges you're going to go through successes challenges ups and downs in life but one thing that you can really control is your attitude um, towards these things so i hope that today you're choosing to live out an attitude of gratitude so my name is manly and today i've got something new for you i'm going to help you to engage with music by combining your feelings with the music theory so if you're new to this channel please do consider subscribing also if you'd like me to help you individually in your music making journey please do get in touch with me via my website manlyoconnor.com and as my free gift to you i'll give you not one but two completely free online piano lessons if you want to get in touch with me today via my website at manlyoconnor.com so today i'm going to be looking at the song by one republic called i ain't worried so in the key of f it's going to sound a little something like this so i'm using this as a way to expand your left hand in terms of playing tenths and playing chords in a more elaborate way so we're going to be looking at the hook i've adapted the melody a little bit have a listen So let's just look at this left hand. I've got this movement happening, but the question is, what is our foundation? How are we getting there? So in the key of F, we start on chord four, B flat major, and I'm doing it down an octave. Then we're gonna be playing chord two, which is G minor. Then chord six, which is D minor. And then chord one, F major, yeah? But the beauty of it is, with this movement, is that I'm taking the triad and the middle note and moving it up an octave. So we get that broken chord movement. Likewise for chord two, so that's the middle note. And I'm always using the same fingers in terms of middle finger, second finger and thumb. D minor, moving that an octave. And then finish on, finishing on <laughs> the F major chord. So I'm taking this middle note and I'm moving up. And that's literally it. The melody is as such. It starts on the one, I'm in the key of F. together like this. A little slower so you can see where it connects. So right here. Let me just start that again. <laughs> there we go. Right here. Yeah. So one more time. I would actually suggest to do it like this actually. Let me make the left hand come in a little earlier. Try this. Yeah. So it's the same rhythm for every note. Apart from there. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so it gets a little bit syncopated towards the end and also in the middle it's different. But have it in mind that one, uh, uh, yeah, in terms of those um, quavers. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A bit more speed. So it's so important though to be able to play this in all 12 keys. Now, treat this like as an exercise to be able to expand your melody, like being able to play a melody on the right hand supported by your left hand te tenths. So you don't just want to be limited to just one key. So for example, um, let's just go up a half step. Let's go to the key of G. 
G flat right here. So I know it starts on well, it's on a family note. So I know it starts on the one. So I need to go to the four. So it'd be like this. It's really important to work this through. Twelve keys, because then you're literally never limited. Now, for example, if I go to the key of A flat, um, so I start on the one, so it'd be like this. And rather than just being limited to just playing the song, now I can literally use this as a creative exercise to be able to play in all twelve keys, and using. Um, the the left hand this broken chord feature in terms of you looking at these tenths intervals and what, what I mean by tenths and um, by the way for example so I was in the key of A flat so I'm chord four so in terms of this I'm chord right here by moving the F up it's a tenth interval. Etc. Etc. I hope that's helpful. I hope that's helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to this channel, please do subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss out on upload new content. Thank you so much for watching this video. I am grateful. And don't forget today and always to live out an attitude of gratitude. <laughs>